they're bringing in Will McGrath, who's um, Alliance Manager for Quantum now, along with Charlie Matheson. Will, how are you? Good, how are you doing, Butch? Good to have you here. Uh, nice talk about here. Quantum, for people that don't know Quantum, talk about what you do, and talk about your partnership with, uh, with OpenText. Sure, so Quantum is a company that's based um, in San Jose. We're about 1,000 employees. We actually focus on uh, tiered storage, data protection, and fast workflows for media entertainment types of uh, businesses. And the partnership with OpenText, what do you what do you like about it so much? Well, they actually add a lot of value to us. We basically provide a lot of the infrastructure underneath for the storage and the, the ability to actually share files, but from the archiving point of view, we only just deal with the storage. We don't know anything about the assets. We really leave that up to the something like OpenText Media Management to be able to handle that. The movement of those assets we handle on the from first tier to secondary tier to actually save money but for us to actually know anything about the metadata or the assets or anything like that, it's really up to OpenText to provide that. So when it comes to Quantum, Charlie, talk about their sweet spot and talk about what it helps provide, what it helps OpenText <laughs> provide as solutions from the tiered storage part of it. Well, you know, tiered storage or storage in general is a, is a vital, uh, you know, uh, something that needs to be met by media and entertainment companies. I mean, we're talking about, at many companies, multi-petabyte libraries. Um, for us, Quantum is best of breed storage vendor. They have exceptional fast disks, super high I.O. speeds. They've got a really fantastic object-oriented uh, storage story, which is relatively new, but the way that they're doing it, we really like, matrix storage. And then, of course, they have a great LTO um, or backup system uh, tape. And so, to be able to have all of those tiers available to you is a real differentiator. And a lot of uh, other storage vendors that are in the space, you know, they might have some great I.O. disk speed, but they can't do the object storage and they don't touch tape, you know? So we want to be able to provide the full story. You know, everything, whatever a media company would need to do from, you know, fast editing tools off of fast I.O. disk to deep archive storage on tape. And Quantum provides that. So. You know, we're excited. We have some great joint wins. The newest one is this uh, this deal that we just announced today with PBS, and so uh, I couldn't be more excited than to to work with them. And we see a bright well, future ahead. From a quantum perspective, talk about the deal with PBS. It is an exciting deal now, and talk about it from the storage part of it and what you were able to bring to the so deal. So we bring a you know very high high performance storage for the front end digital editing type of space, but then also that we have a centralized archive to be able to archive all your assets to the main, main offices in the DC area. So when it comes to PBS in particular, because I think everybody knows about public broadcasting, but they might not know some of the problems and solutions they were trying to solve. How were you guys able to help solve and what were some of the problems you're helping them solve? Well, I think a lot of it had to do with really reducing the cost of actually taking content in and actually being able to store it for a long, long period of time. So the ability to actually store that, save money by actually being able to archive that, and then repurpose those assets. Working with folks like OpenText to be able to repurpose those assets to some of the satellite divisions of PBS and provide those assets for them to actually, you know, provide on, on the station, or to be able to re-edit them or manipulate them in, in different ways as well. So is that a quantum differentiator? The sort of I don't know if I'm making this term up, but sensible storage, smart storage. In yeah, other I words, think, there's plenty of places you can store. Yeah, they, I mean, your you can content. get traditional storage from NetApp or HP or IBM, and we work with all those vendors. We can use our stuff as just software, but what we provide is the full value chain. We're publicizing in our booth 4K workflows. We do a lot of work with people like um, uh, Park, Park City and, and other places where they're actually doing 4K workflows. So the very fast storage, multiple people accessing it. Could be Windows, could be Linux. We have a strong relationship with Apple for their XSAN. And then we actually take that life cycle and actually move that all off to multiple different tiers. It could be object storage or tape tier. So we, we provide that full gamut. I like the storage conversations because I always think, it's my, our generation, but I always go back to the uh, end scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark when the, you know, they found the Covenant, the Ark of the Covenant, but it ends up in a warehouse, in a government <laughs> warehouse back yeah. somewhere. And I always think about that. You keep talking about central repositories and all this and that, but the challenge for people today is your most valuable stuff may be stored somewhere, and you got to find it. And you got to find it in different forms and find it right away, and it has to be pushed up, right? So it's, it's a challenge. Yeah, and I mean, I think if you look at the, the Store Next framework and the way that they go about it, it's about as fast a way of searching and accessing this deep storage as you'll find on the marketplace. So, you know, it really works out well with, with what we're trying to do. You know, we're trying to manage these files 
at a metadata la layer. But then, you know, it's almost like a boat floating on top of an ocean, right? And you're fishing for fish, and you want to go and find that fish, right? So that ocean is quantum, you know, huge ocean of storage, and you want to be able to directly go down there and find it. So you guys actually so. have fish finders? <laughs> is it, you know, to put on it? So the idea. <laughs> right? Sure, yeah. <laughs> a little more about that as we finish up, Will. Again, you, you said this off the top, but, but once again, when you look at what you and OpenText are providing together, if I'm an enterprise level company, I'm not a media and entertainment giant, but when we talk, we've been talking about this for all the time, I'm starting to you know, realize the scope of what the content that I actually produce and publish now, and the needs that come along with that. What does the combined quantum OpenText solution provide to me? What are some of the things that I'm finding out that I need and that you guys can help me yeah, with. Yeah, a lot of, lot of enterprises that are entering into social media don't realize how much data they're going to be end up, end up collecting. You know, videos, promotional spots, a lot of people bring in their production in-house. Uh, I was talking to um, one of your counterparts at OpenText, and he said there's a watch company that basically has eight editors working full-time just to produce commercials, you know? And you have all this content that you actually have to store somewhere and then retrieve it. You may have a commercial you want to bring out two years from now and say, I want to bring that content back and repurpose it, and I remember we did this sequence in visual effects, I want to bring that back, and so the ability to actually search that fast using media management from OpenText, and then pull that back from tape or from object storage quickly, get it to your editors, you know, quite quickly is a, is a key differentiator. Yeah, and Charlie, one of the things that happens, you know, when you think of lines of business within a company, doesn't matter what industry you're in, but there's seasonal in the retail business, there's events that everybody has, so there's all kinds of campaigns that get run around stuff, and when you think about content, they, it gets repurposed for so many different reasons mm -hmm. and in so many different forms, so it seems just fundamental or vital to have that foundation, to have it stored right, searched right, and to have your the beginnings of what's going to optimize your workflow, right? Yeah, absolutely, and you want to have, for the editors, you want to have that super fast I.O., but uh, you know, not necessarily for the stuff in the deep archive, so you want to have a different set of capabilities there. And this, again, is why I say that you know, quantum, in my, our opinion, from OpenText's opinion, is such a great uh, partner and a great storage vendor because they provide, you know, the fast I.O., the deep archive storage, the, you know, fat, what I would call a fabric uh, object-oriented uh, approach. So whatever you want to do uh, from your company's standpoint, they can deliver. And so and when we are tied in and integrated with them, we can then deliver, you know? So it's a, it's a nice, it's a really nice uh, story, a really nice uh, partnership, and um, we're looking forward to, obviously, replicating deals like what we've done at PBS and other customers. Great.